Hey everyone, have I here be another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be discussing the Dual Dokkan Fest preview for the upcoming New Year's celebration on the GAP version of the game. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. And as you can see, it is going to be Physical Super Saiyan 2 that transforms into Super Saiyan 3, Goku, and then we have a Strength Kid Boo. I kind of quickly took a look at these units here. You know, the power creep has been already happening, but these units are pretty ridiculous. Let's go ahead and dive into these units. And uh, of course, of course, shout outs to the homie Goresh for his translations. Always coming quick. I was just jumping on. I was like, oh, let's check this all out. And boom, translations are already here. So we're going to look at the Goku here first. And of course, I'm gonna make this bigger for you guys, so if you guys can see it on this on your screen as well. So this is the Super Saiyan 2 Goku battle to protect the fate of the universe. Now it is introducing another category. Um, this would be, I think, 83 or 84, somewhere around there. It's a lot of categories. It's the fate-induced battle or accelerated battle. Which accelerated battle? We don't have 170% lead, which this is, and um, you know. Hey, you know, I think it's too, it'll be interesting to see what the category looks like, but two, you know, decent, seemingly decent leader, uh, leader skill categories. But for me, I'm still waiting for that 170% meta break. Um, we've been doing 170% for like three plus years now. And I think it's time to at least like surpass 177, right? We have one unit that does 177 LR Friku. But this is key plus three HP 130, attack and defense 170%. And also in reality, let's just make them all 170 at this point in time, right? 130 HP just doesn't make any sense anymore. But hey, that's what this leader skill is. Uh, I hope the seven year anniversary changes all of this and no more, you know, 170% and the, and the meta is broken. But anyway, let's continue on with this unit here. Super attack is the meteor blast, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage to the enemy with a medium chance of sun. So nice addition to that. Passive skill. All right. So this is the pre-transformation, mind you, right? So uh, unfaltering power, keep us two which is always, always nice to have self key there. Attack and defense, 180%. Well, yeah, let's just, you know, throw it out there. Let's go basically Super Saiyan 4 v Gogeta, right? He's at 180, or is he at 200? Anyway, it's pretty strong. So uh, gain an attack. So once again, that's just not it, right? Gain an additional attack and defense 50% when performing a super attack. So there you go. That's separated. That's calculated differently, by, uh, by the way, so separately. So that's going to be a m way more than a 230% boost there. So pretty incredible. And then perform an additional attack that has a medium chance to become a super attack and a high chance to perform a critical hit. Yes, this is pre-transformation. This unit gets better. This unit gets better when you transform. So <laughs> before we take a look at that, right? So transformation conditions, I able to... Uh, be used once three turns or more and have elapsed from the start of the battle and then hp 77 percent or less you know not too bad there uh links are saiyan warrior race um saiyan lineage golden warrior experienced fighter prepare for battle and fierce battle and i believe we have the categories here too right categories oh we don't have the categories i think maybe goresh didn't put those in quite yet oh wait nope it's not there so i will probably uh get the categories put in on this uh maybe at the end of the video i'll kind of well, actually i'll stop it here and i'll see if i get the edit give me one second okay that was like one second for you guys but uh found it categories quite a bit though so this is a huge huge advantage for this unit here right because i've often said six categories at minimum this has quite a bit fate induced battle which is the new one majin Buu saga Hero Saiyan, Super Saiyan 3, Transformation Boost, Goku's Family, Command Mayha, Super Saiyan 2, Turtle School, Attain Evolution, Bond of Friendship, and Accelerated Battle. That is incredible. I don't even know how, how many is that. It's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So, going to be a valuable, super, super valuable. You know, of course, being a Goku, you would assume that. So, I mentioned this again. This unit gets better, okay? <laughs> It's crazy. So uh, he does the transformation here, goes to Super Saiyan 3, and um, the 
Super attack is greatly raises attack for one turn and then raises defense and causes immense damage in with the medium chance of stun. So you just get a little extra boost in attack there, uh, SA multiplier. Passive. All right. Uh, battle loving, kind hearted, sane. All right. Key plus three. Attack and defense 200%. Boom. Right there. Gain an additional attack and defense 50% when performing a super attack. So get the extra 20% boost right off the bat there. And then same with the additional 50% to attack and defense at SA. Perform two additional attacks. Each of them have the medium chance of becoming a super attack. That is crazy good. And gain an additional 50% when attacking and a great chance to perform a critical hit for six turns from the first appearance. What? What? You're going to have a, a great chance is what? 70% chance to hit a critical hit and 50% attack? Okay. And then after the first appearance from Super Saiyan 3, um, after the seventh seventh turn, uh, you, you just unfortunately drop that 50% attack and then you're down to gain a high chance to perform a critical hit. It's still crazy, right? It's still crazy. Um, I'm just looking here <laughs> at what this is going to do and the amount of damage is ridiculous and then defensive wise it's still going to be very very strong so uh links do change here golden warrior experience fighters and prepare battle become command meha over in the flash and uh limit breaking form it doesn't matter <laughs> it doesn't matter this unit's crazy broken right and if you look at this right here right it's on 12 different categories hopefully i counted that right um <laughs> Power creep is fully to the max here. This is what I'm thinking. Okay, this is a New Year's. This is the before the the Dokkan Festival exclusive before the uh, anniversary, right? So uh, we'll see what happens when they do in the anniversary because this is outrageous for this unit here. Speaking of outrageous, let's go ahead and move on to the Kid Boo. All right. So what I like the Kid Boo more just because just you know having more extreme units is always great, but let me tell you a couple of reasons why. One, I love the card art. So the card art looks incredible there. I love that Kid Boo with that uh, purple and pink. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this very well. So uh, you know what? Let me, yeah, let me make this bigger. Yeah, give me, give me one second. Okay, here. I think that looks better here. Again, shout outs to Gresh for all these translations here. Um... The reason why I like this is this this is, is a Majin Buu Saga 170% extreme leader because of course we've had the um, LR Super Vegito as the Majin Buu Saga and it's always nice now to see this unit here. Um, this is going to be an incredible team, by the way. You got LR Buhan, you got all the extreme units there. You basically all the all the Boos on here. Uh, this is what we've been waiting for: Majin Buu Saga extreme leader. And uh, what I also like about this is they didn't add another category. It is also fate induced battle. So it goes hand in hand there. And uh, in a sense, if you're going to run this unit here, you can actually run both the, the Majin Buu, uh, the Kid Buu, and the Goku at the same time, right? So uh, super attack here. Oh, by the way, it's a, a HP and attack 170% and defense 130. The super attack here is attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage in with medium chance of stun. So exactly the same as the Goku. So the reason why I like this a little bit better, all right, is because just right off the bat, the passive before transformation, I think it's really, really strong here. Um, key plus three, which even better, uh, attack and defense 180%, gains an additional attack and defense 30% per attack performed, max 120%. So if you're going to add additional attacks to this, this guy can just really really power up i think a lot faster than you transforming and using the active skill for the, the super saiyan 3 goku so uh but because also this you perform an additional attack that has a medium chance uh of performing a super attack so you are already guaranteed an additional attack so you're doing two attacks no matter what so you're getting a 60 percent boost every single turn guaranteed and if you get that extra proc uh you're gonna get 90 percent, and then that's up to 120 so really two turns you're you're done. You're maxed out on guarantee, but you possibly can even get stronger after one turn there. And then recovers HP uh, 20% at the end of each turn, which is really strong. Uh, 
as long as it receives an attack. And then great chance to nullify unarmed super attacks launched at this character, which again, these nullifications, you know, uh, it's hard to kind of say, okay, you know, am I going to get, you know, super attacked by the proper super attack? But in this case scenario, unarmed, you probably have a good idea what that is. So I do really like this unit. It's a, it's a little bit simpler, right? Because you don't have the act of skill transformation. Uh, once again, when Goku transforms, it's ridiculous, but I just like the maybe the, the, the usage of this unit a little bit more than the Goku because we have so many Gokus, right? It's just we don't have a ridiculously good, good Kid Buu, and this one is. Um, the active skill, use when fighting a Majin Buu Saga category enemy, that's automatic. You can just boom right away or after receiving six or more attacks in the battle. So, you know, throw them in uh, slot one. And the great thing about this ability is a straight on buff attack and defense 20% for the rest of the battle. So it'll be interesting to see what the calculations are on this, but I think Kid Buu is going to be much, much faster and usable um, prior to Super Saiyan 3 coming out, which, you know, you know, takes a little bit of time to actually do that you know three turns and your hp has to be below 77 percent which sometimes you might not be right you might not be so uh, so very very interesting here so links more than meets the eye brutal beat down uh big bad bosses majin infinite regeneration and the wall standing tall uh and fierce battle so you're gonna link up really well with booze of course and then here's your categories here let me see if i can move this up here categories a bunch as well so fate induced battle majin Buu saga resurrected warriors transformation boost artificial life forms majin power planetary destruction story fighters um legendary existence swarm enemies accelerated battle and global chaos so you also have two four six eight ten you also have 12 so eh, <laughs> these these two units are pretty ridiculous all right so i think a lot of jp players are going to summon for these two units but just also know that uh seven year anniversary is right around the corner right at the end of january starts the seven year anniversary and they have to make these units enticing and i think they are i really think they are um it's gonna definitely boost up the majibu saga team uh, whatever the fate induced battle team, I think it's going to look very, very good because both of these are going to be on it. And um, yeah, uh, once again, just by looking at the, you know, the the basic uh, translations here and uh, don't see any testing yet. It's still it, it looks <laughs> mighty, mighty strong. So anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you're new to my channel, like subscribe, do all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Keep on doconing. We'll catch you next time. Later.